all right so in the last video we have seen how we can read an existing pdf file content using the pypdf library in today's video we are going to learn few things about how to create a pdf file using the same library now in terms of creating a pdf file from scratch it has some limitations maybe another library would be useful so we'll try to cover that in another video today we are going to see how we can create a blank page then how we can create a new page from an existing pdf rotate that page scale that page and compress the pdf size so these are the things that we are going to learn in this video now if you remember in the last video we were working on a reader object so today we are going to use a writer object and finally the writer object would be used to save the contents in a output file so we'll probably read something from an existing pdf transform that use the writer object to store it in the file so with that context let's get started okay so i'll just remove all this content over here start from scratch just so that you can catch up and probably try the same along with me so first thing first we are going to import the pypdf from pypdf library we are going to import pdf writer pdf reader both okay and as you can see this is the method that we are going to create create pdf which accepts the pdf file name and as you can see the file is already created here let's delete that anyway it will be over it the file is deleted now and let's use the pycharm shortcut to create the function for ourselves let's change the param name to file name and create a writer object using the pdf writer which doesn't accept anything and let's try to create a blank page now as you can see it gives me two options right so add blank page and add underscore blank underscore page so these are the new methods which we should be using and the ones uh, it shows without any underscore is deprecated now so there is also a pdf file writer object which is deprecated and you shouldn't be using those classes so that's all we have but the add blank page method accepts width and height and if we don't pass this two param values then the page size not defined error would be thrown so let's see what could be the possible size so this is the official documentation from adobe which says that a4 size is 210 29 297 and there are other sizes as well so whatever you feel that you want to explore you can pick the same let's stick to a4 for this particular example so we'll just say use 210 to 97 okay let's go back here add this and it should be a comma separated value but we still have to do something right because as we saw in that diagram before that we have to use a file to store the writer object content right so we'll create a file using the width class width open file name we'll use the same file name and the writing mode would be wb write in binary format let's call it as file and finally writer dot write that file okay so i think we're good to run this now okay so the new dot pdf file is now there let's open it and we can see it has a a4 size page now that's not enough certainly we need contents in that as i mentioned before right to create the pdf file from scratch is going to be a little bit challenging but instead what we're going to do we have downloaded an existing search.pdf file which is a guide for beta google searches and we'll use this file which contains just a single page to write to this existing file that we have read this first using a reader object 
and it needs the file name a path search.pdf would be stored in reader and then we can use the writer object and add an extra page saying add page so let's read the page first from the reader object and it only has a single page so pages dot zero it's fine and finally we write that in the file let's run our program once again and see what changes it has made okay great now we have the a4 size page and a bigger sized bearer searches result as well stored in the same file it doesn't look very good right two pages are very different in size so let's scale the page size so how can we do that we take this page object and say hey scale by and we give a factor for example maybe one fourth of that size main size and try again now okay so what do we get now so i think this is much better than before it still is not the exact same size but we can try and experiment with that right it's much better for our use i'll say and what if we have to rotate the page okay so we can do that too so if i just say rotate and then give angle so for example we can do 90 degree rotation and it'll be clockwise let's see okay clockwise 90 degree rotated and let's check what is the size of this file so it says around 650 kb which is a little larger i would say so how can we compress the size as per the documentation uh, the PyPDF library supports Zlib file compression. It should be lossless, so we should not um, see any deterioration in the output file contained. So we can try that ourselves. Undo rotating. We just want to keep our head straight and use the compress content streams method. That's all we need. And let's see what changes it makes. Let's open the file look same if we search the file size okay it seems to be a lot lesser than before almost one third of its size right but it is going to be a little bit cpu intensive process so if you have a very large file then it will probably take a longer uh, time to finish so you have to use it um, as per your convenience so yeah i think that's all we wanted to cover today we have seen how to create a blank page then we have also used an existing pdf to create that page and rotated that scaled it down compressed the overall pdf size hope that was helpful and you like the content if you did then you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel i'll see you in another video thank you